Yay. Um, are you excited? I'm always excited, you know that. As you should be, yes. <laughs> it's it's time to be. It's Friday. Okay. And we got another ball game tonight under the lights. Oh, snap. Who are you guys playing? Regis. Regis? Wait, is this Regis. your... This is your school? Yeah, Heritage High School plays Regis tonight. Oh, snap. They're the uh, uh, a large Jesuit school that has elementary schools, mm -hmm. one high school, and a college. Wow! Locally, yeah. So you guys won last night, and you're playing again tonight. Do you think that's gonna? You think they can handle it? I mean, your team sounds good. Uh, lucky. <laughs> okay. and, and this as the saying goes i'd rather be lucky than good yeah. i like i'd rather be lucky and good yeah exactly why can't you know, we get that yay exactly. <laughs> okay let's get into this this is my first time hosting a community spotlight this is your first time being interviewed right jeff uh well for for insight they know that I don't like to be on camera or in pictures, so really? you should feel special. You should feel very Aww, special. I do. Thank you, Jeff. Well, actually, I, after talking with you, because, you know, this is my second week, last week, yeah. we just got to talking about all kinds of stuff, so I was like, if I were to interview anyone, I was like, I wanted it to be Jeff, so look at us. We made Thank it Thank you. Happen. There we go. Yeah. Okay, First so I do have a little bit of a script, so I'm just going to, we're just going to roll with it. Um, I hear that this is a great way for you to, you know, just let other members know, you know, what you do, you know, um, and everything like that. So let's get started. Hello, and welcome back to Enterprise Coworking Community Spotlight. This month, we are talking to Jeff Peterson of Insight International. Thank you so much for virtually oh, sitting let's, down. Let's, let's, let's stop back. Let, let's... <laughs> It's not just Insight International, it's Insight Branding, Marketing, and Creative. Ooh, okay. And Insight, Insight International is the LLC or the corp name. I see. Uh, and, that, and, and when I started working with Adam, I, I felt that didn't adequately, adequately describe, nor did it describe what we did. Right. So we put in what is called a service descriptor with the name. So say it all from the top again, insight, yeah. branding, marketing, marketing, and creative. And creative, international. Yeah. I love that. No, no, no international. No international, just Well, insight, we are international, marketing, but it's not in the name. Got you. Okay. You go. Are you going to update the logo on your door? It's on the door. Some... It's on the door? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay, so you did kind of just tell us a little bit about what you guys do as far as branding, marketing, and creative ventures. What do you specifically do, Jeff? Uh, so I do brand strategy, uh, and I've been involved in brand strategy and the creative nice. uh, since 89. Wow, with this company? No. Okay. That, that's, that's my history. I see. Uh, with another company. I've only had uh, two jobs, mm -hmm. one working for a men's store when I moved here in 85, mm -hmm. uh, doing, uh, doing marketing and merchandising mm -hmm. and, and store design. And then in 89, I went to work for a company called, uh, it was called Glenn Monagle and Associates at that time. And, and it was one of the larger corporate identity and brand development firms in the United States. Nice. I had a small grasp of what branding was, but did not understand the importance until right. you saw literally they, they, they dealt with fortune five, fortune 10, fortune 20 companies, yeah. like Chase Bank, uh, Berkshire Hathaway, which is Warren Buffett. Oh, wow. So it, 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 it established the importance of branding, mm -hmm. driving everything that you, you need to do so that you can uniquely differentiate, differentiate yourself from your competition and be top of mind right. for your tar target audience. 17 years ago, when I moved out on my own mm -hmm. uh, as an independent uh, contractor consultant for doing creative, mm -hmm. I thought it would, would be an immense <clears throat> uh, 
need for smaller companies, right? Right. Not at the Fortune 5 level, but at the Fortune mom and pop level. Right. And, and it was, but it's, it's, it's a lot for people to wrap their head around and manage. Mm-hmm. When they're trying to come up with the greatest thing since sliced bread, the greatest yeah. service. Uh, well, I don't have a comparison. Yeah, but I was like, but great, you know, you know what I'm getting at? That they spend all their money on time uh, 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 on getting the product ready to go. Right. And then the last thing they do is the, is the branding and the creative. And then the, the lights go on. They go, whoa, wow. Yeah. So, Jeff, I have a question. Sure. Do you help with the like logo curation or like how involved are you from start to finish from? That's the creative part. I see. That's the creative part. But none of that happens until you have a reason for a color, a reason for a font selection. And when I say a reason, a strategy. Yeah. And that strategy then segues into a big idea that seg- segues into a story right and and from that story what type of image do you want to portray but more importantly what type of reputation yeah do you want your target audience to perceive right and, and and so you get into what we 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 call word transformation in the industry or at least that's what i call it mm-hmm. it's also I also teach it in a college level Mm -hmm. is how do you take a word like connection and turn it into a visual metaphor and also be able to develop a spoken and written narrative about that. Right. And all these need to integrate together into a a brand's unique spoken, written and visual language. Right. Right. And one thing I've realized, I don't know too much about it, but I am a creative person, things like color and like, imagery like there's like an emotional tie to it so like yellow is known for like happiness or like jubilation and stuff like that so it's celebration yeah yeah exactly that's purple royalty loyalty family regal you're right Regal. okay i see i know a little bit about it yeah and and the strange story behind it is in the day Mm -hmm. for fabric the only people that could afford to to wear that, yeah, were the were the royals, right? Because because it came from a very strange fish, extracted mm-hmm. extracted extracted as a dye, yeah, and it also had an odor to it, yeah. <laughs> so so here come the regals, and maybe that's why they bob their heads. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's, so that's, that's just the kids that I coach and the students that I teach. <laughs> some laugh, some some give you give me the look. Oh my gosh, I'll always laugh. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. Why did you choose enterprise coworking? Why are you deciding to work out of here? I know you teach, like you said, so I know it's probably nice to have space that you can get on your Zoom calls and. So th- th- that takes us back to uh, when I first started working with Adam, I, I officed w- with another company and it was a, a, a group of pe- people I met when I was working at Monocle. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I, I did work for them and I also, so that was called, well, I, I've done work for a couple of other companies mm-hmm. is what I call hired creative. <clears throat> and renting office space from the other company, uh, uh, I, I started working with Adam yeah, and then event, and, and it was in 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 in, in the, the aspect of what do you think, mm-hmm. and I would send him back a long list, yeah. then he would send me back something. And now what do you think? Mm-hmm. And I and I said to him, wouldn't it just be easier if I just did all this for you? Yeah, and so we start started to explore and discover how we can integrate uh, the way two two people think, and then grow it out of that. Adam's been doing this for better part of 12 years, I think, or, or longer. Yeah. <clears throat> and I've been helping him out for now six years. Mm-hmm. So two years before COVID. And then, yeah, that puts it at about, at about I'm going to say four to six years, somewhere in there. Wow. So then, so we were working remotely together. Then, then everything got to be, to grow. 
So waiting for email responses, does, does, it really just disrupts workflow. Right. Where, where if you could have that, what we call the over the shoulder conversation, mm-hmm. it's like, are you ready to, to do the, it's like, give me a second. I got a long email to, exactly. to respond yeah. to. Yeah. And then we, then we jumped on the call. Yeah. So we went and, 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 and he knew somebody that had space 32nd and Blake, just a couple blocks from uh, your Rhino mm-hmm. office. And we were there before the pandemic, after the pandemic, and up until three months ago. Wow. When the, uh, the, the, the gentleman that owned that building, another building, and, and the building that a, that a, uh, a craft brewery was in, mm-hmm. sold, the whole, sold, his, sold the whole building. Wow. So we had to look for a place to, 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 to be. And that's when we ended, ended up the co-working space mm-hmm. uh, because I can't, I can't work at home by myself anymore. Yeah. You know, the COVID just ruined me for just always. I understand. Not, not knowing. Right. right? Mm-hmm. And, and, and your, and your world. And now it's, it's, it's a lot bigger, of course. Yeah. But your world was. My my the second floor, the main floor, and the basement of my townhome. Yeah. <laughs> and walking my and walking my my dog. Exactly. And that, and that just that just scrambled my brain. Yeah. Uh, and I and I'm a person that loves the 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 art of a conversation, the art of storytelling. Mm-hmm. It's what I do for a living. Yeah. It, it, it is people will always remember a good story. Very true. People will always remember a good tagline. Mm-hmm. And when I'm coaching, the other boys and the coaches on the bench, that's pretty good. Yeah. Where did that come from, man? <laughs> I open my mouth. Take notes. Take and, notes. And, and, and my mom was the same way. My dad, my dad, not so much, but my mom was the same way. Mm-hmm. And I go, Mom, I would always say, how did that come out of my mouth? Do yeah. you think? And I go, Mom, you're just authentic. You, you, you know, you speak gift. from the heart and you just let it go. And, and, and sometimes exactly. she will say things that, especially when she started to have to work for Mountain Bell mm-hmm. here in Colorado mm-hmm. from Montana. Yeah. You'd be a little bit more earthy with your dialogue in Montana, right? Yeah. But once she got to Colorado, it was like, hey, you know, uh, yeah. No, Mom, I'm not letting you walk home at night from the bus station. But yeah. you have to come all the way from, you know, we lived out here, and she worked downtown, and 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 we moved here together. So I said, "No, ma, you're not, <laughs> you're, you're not walking to the bus station and taking the bus. I'm, I will come get you." Exactly. Okay. Okay. Anyway, poor gentleman, Jeff. What the? No, I, I was a mama's boy. Yeah, <laughs> but don't they have they have a saying for being quick witted? You have the gift of the gab, is what they say, right? Gift of the gab is that the saying? That's one nice way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. You're like, I'll take it. I'll take it. It, it, I get I'll take the gift part. (laughs) Exactly. Well, Jeff, you're so easy to talk to that we just flew through that. That is crazy. It's nice to have you here at the Greenwood Village location. We talk all the time, anytime you come to get coffee. And thank you. If anyone's wondering where the caramel macchiato French vanilla creamer is coming from, it's your guy Jeff. My job. Yeah. (laughs) If you want to know more about uh, what we do, you can go to www.insight.com and you can see uh, we have a narrative about what we do. Uh, You can see the the awards we won, uh, where we rank on clutch, uh, and uh, you can go from there. So, you know, it's branding, marketing, and creative, and a big part of the marketing that we do is, is what I call the, the, the new digital media marketing uh, for today. Uh, so it's, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's everything from using the digital highway in a strategic fashion, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and, and not just populating it, but, but being smart about it. Um, and then if you just wanna uh, share the naked gap, uh, we can always go out to, out to Brittany's, uh, <laughs> desk and, and we can yeah. have a, 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 an expanded dialogue about yeah. the universe yeah. the meaning of life yeah 
<laughs> exactly. We've talked. We've covered we've covered so many topics. <laughs> or what do you do when you got a guy in first and third and, and with two outs? Exactly. <laughs> or with teaching teaching creative classes online. Oh yeah. You know, there, there are so many things that are changing now in the world, in the world of communication, mm -hmm. but also in, in the world of connectivity, you know, being connected with people interpersonally. Exactly. So, you, you know, this, I think, it, it is a great way to, uh, uh, how do I say it, effectively and affordably create video. Right. I mean, look at so many, so many communication touch points what is it tick tick tock yeah i chat yeah twitter yeah you know even even this that you know that that you post a video on on facebook or linkedin your seo and your clutch ratings all that go go way up and and, and that that's the uh those are the marketing data points that used to be be called called viewer viewer appearances like how many people are watching this show how many people yeah. are listening to this radio station mm -hmm. um, and, and and it just happens automatically you can crack it automatically so exactly you don't have to do anything special yeah um, yeah so thanks and, Thank and you, Jeff. literally Brittany's just right in, like 10 feet away <laughs> Over right. here. Yeah. Exactly. Over here, exactly. over there. Where are we? I know. <laughs> Thank you thanks so much. Thanks everybody for putting up with me and uh I'm always the guy running around with the baseball coaching gear on too so yes everybody go stop by jeff's office say hi absolutely everything if you need any branding help marketing help he is your go-to guy thank you so much jeff i will see and, you and when this when this is cut we got to get it to our content manager yeah so she can post it of course i got you okay all righty i'll talk to you later thank you so Thanks, much Pete. all right bye